Thank you all for being with us this morning. I'm Robin Waits. I'm the executive director with Historic Columbia. And on behalf of the Board of Trustees and the staff at, at Historic Columbia, I'm really delighted to welcome you to the Hampton Preston Mansion and Gardens. In 2006, Historic Columbia adopted a cultural landscape master plan. And so in this really big dream plan of 2006, we added the reconstruction of a greenhouse that once stood at the northwest corner of this property. This, this garden was among the most prominent along the southeast in the 1850s. So the greenhouse will be another amenity that we have that represents the, the historic buildings that were part of this site in the 1850s. So it gives another kind of opportunity to tell a much broader story of the property. Um, it also will have a working um, greenhouse space, so they'll be able to propagate plants in that greenhouse. And then another part of it is an education space, so we'll be able to do public programs there as well. It's also Im important to note that this four acre site and all of its amenities, while they're cared for by Historic Columbia, they are actually owned by Richland County. And the county has, has been an incredible partner in the rehabilitation of the building that is behind us, and they support our most recent efforts that we're doing with the gardens today. I believe this effort, this project, uh, will enhance the community's experience here at the uh, Hampton Preston site, while also honoring Historic Columbia's uh, three pillars, which are preservation, education, and advocacy. So today's groundbreaking uh, on the greenhouse and the concomitant uh, gatehouse are evidence of their hard work uh, and ingenuity. This site and its gardens are a wonderful asset to the Richland County community. This project further extends the learning opportunities for not just the students, not just teachers, but anyone who comes through this great county to have a learning opportunity, whether it's horticulture or land preservation, they have that opportunity. So thank you to the Boyd Foundation. Thank you, Historic Columbia. So I think it just expands the story of the site and, and does so in a way that we can focus a little bit more on the horticultural side of things as opposed to what was happening in the, in the main house. So we know that, as an example, there were 67 enslaved people who worked at this site and, and would have maintained these really beautiful gardens. You tell the story of everyone, not just the owners of the homes, but the people who cooked the food and the people who kept the grounds. That's, that's important. We need to maintain those historic uh, buildings, grounds, that made this county what it is. Watching a 30-story building is not gonna bring people here. But making something like this pleasant, attractive, and bringing people in who want to come back again. That's what causes business to grow.